Hi everybody, it's Brendan here from ujoomla.com and um, today I'd like to uh, just take you through quickly um, how to install uh, one of our favorite plugins. Okay, it's a plugin that we install on almost every website that we have um, anything to do with. Um, it, uh, it just makes life very, very easy and um, it's available um, from the guys at Blackdale okay blackdale.com and the uh, plugin we're going to look at is their easy script uh, plugin okay um, one of the things that you really shouldn't do is to modify the core files of Joomla uh, or the, the core files of your uh, template um, because when Joomla is updated or your templates updated those files can be overwritten and uh, all your little your little tweaks your little modifications will be uh, gone forever okay um, which is why we like this uh, plugin um, it's fairly light it doesn't use uh, it doesn't use many resources um, it doesn't uh, slow down your website any uh, and um, uh, most importantly it allows you to add things um, that uh, will help you style uh, your website okay um, the thing which we are really interested in actually is that um, this script allows us to add our own custom CSS file so we can modify the template again without uh, uh, affecting the the original CSS files for that template um, so it's nice um, so what we'll do is um, from blackdale.com um, we'll just click on the button okay free download okay um, they do have a pro version okay um, and um, it's just ten dollars um, so I would encourage you to um, to actually buy the pro uh, pro model or uh, pro version um, ten bucks you know y you can't go wrong um, it's a nice nice plugin okay but um, uh, if you're feeling uh, a little bit skint, then uh, <laughs> just go for the the light version, the free one, okay, and um, and download that, okay. Um, we won't bother downloading it. I've already got it um, uh, downloaded, ready, okay. So let's go back to um, we'll go back to our um, our control panel page, and um, uh, all we do is click on components, okay. Um, sorry, click on um, extensions my goodness okay manage and install and uh, we'll get uh, our choices up here okay this is a fresh install of Joomla um, I haven't uh, changed anything from uh, the way it was installed okay um, and we've got three choices um, upload a package file uh, install from folder and install from the URL okay we can also um, give the functionality of installing directly from Joomla's extension library okay if we want to but I've downloaded the file already so um, we just choose the file okay click choose the file and and here it is okay uh, easy script 250 is the file name all right so just click on that it's a zip file okay click on open and click on upload and install and uh, in just a very few seconds uh, we should be good to go so what we'll do is uh, once this is finished we'll, we'll go and have a little look at the options the parameters of the plugin and um, uh, you'll see that there really is um, quite a lot we can do with it all right so let's um, uh, let's have a look at the plugins okay so again navigate to the plugins uh, directory uh, from your control panel okay and um, uh, we'll find it here uh, it, it could be at the top it might not be you might have to search for it okay um, but mine is all right so uh, it's not published at the moment okay it's not uh, not enabled okay so we've got to make sure we remember to enable it so click on easy script and um, uh, when it opens up always waiting for localhost in my videos um, because uh, we're not uh, we're not live on the internet with this so uh, we always have to wait a little bit here we go all right um, all right so this is uh, what we see with easy script okay um, we've got some tabbed headings uh, at the top here and um, uh, the first thing if we just click on the first button here all right we've got 10 
uh, lines, 10, ten um, input boxes, okay? And uh, we can add here the um, the root path. We can either use the, the H HTTP or we can just go straight in if we know where the file is from our, our root. Um, this is for JavaScript, okay? This is a little bit more advanced. Um, most of you guys probably won't put anything in here, but um, uh, you know, if you know how to write JavaScript, if you, if you need to put a little bit of JavaScript in there, then this, uh, this is a place uh, to do it, okay? What we're really interested in is the styles, okay? Because um, in the next video of the series, we'll be uh, showing you how to put uh, a custom CSS file um, together and, um, and use this plugin to, to get it to style your site, okay? Um, pretty much the same, though, as, as scripts. Um, we've got 10 uh, opportunities to include 10 different um, uh, paths to our CSS file and and all you would do really is uh, you would type in uh, 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 okay templates which is you know that's in the root root of, of Joomla uh, the name of your template uh, we're using protostar okay and then uh, the there's a folder, okay, the CSS folder in the templates there, so you put that. And then the name of your um, custom folder, your custom, um, oh, your custom uh, CSS file, okay, so why not call it custom CSS, okay, just to distinguish it. And you know what, that's all you would have to do, okay. Um, now, We'll have a look at this in a minute, okay. Uh, we've got a, a, an option here, it also gives us an option to install jQuery, okay. Um, this might be um, superfluous to requirements now because uh, Joomla 3 comes with jQuery uh, already, you know, it's already there, it's already active uh, as standard. We don't have to load it externally, okay. So probably best just to leave this alone, okay. Um, fonts. We can install um, fonts. We don't have to worry about, um, you know, if if we want to have something a bit a bit nice, a bit a bit different than the the um, Arial or, or Times New Roman or you know any of the the standard fonts. Um, there's about a thousand here, all in all. Okay, um, the different different um, fonts from Google. Okay, they come in different categories: handwritten, display sans serif and serif fonts okay and in each box you can select uh, what you would like to um, to have on your you know on your website okay so you could load it in um, should, should pick a, a random one there okay and we'll have a look at that as well just to see how it, it looks um, uh, once it's it's loaded up all right and there's lastly the last tag here other okay um, Sometimes we need to put something else uh, in, into our template. These um, these entries, by the way, all go into the head tag. All right, so it's not something we actually see um, on the you know from the from the front end of the website uh, as such. Um, it's kind of like more the uh, the instructions for the website. Okay, um, if you hang if you hover over where it says additional items, um, you got some examples there of um, the kind of things that you can. You can put in here if you wanted to. Okay, um, the meta name keywords. That's probably uh, the the best bit. Okay, if you're trying to put um, maybe some open graph tags in um, because you want your website to rank uh, in Facebook or, or Twitter, then um, you can put those open graph tags here in this box, and they will also be inserted in between your head tags of the website. All right, but well, well, maybe we'll do that another time. So we've we've added two things. We've chosen a font here, uh, uh, and um, we've added a path to our custom CSS file. Okay. Um, what we need to do is uh, just come here and enable the plugin and save it. Okay, and that is all. Okay. Um, once it's saved, we can um, we can come to the the front page now. Nothing will change here. We won't see any any differences uh, at the moment. Um, so uh, well, we will just wait uh, for that to. Um, I'm saying we won't see any differences. Actually, I think actually I think I might have put a custom file um, in that folder. We'll have to we'll have to wait and see. Um, it's going to be exciting. Let's press the reload button 
and uh, see what happens. Okay, and um, once it oh, there we are. <laughs> it's amazing the things that you forget. Okay, um, but what I wanted to show you was um, uh, if we click on view page source. Okay, we'll have a look at the uh, the HTML of that page, and what we can see here is the um, our um, custom CSS file has been inserted. Okay, along with the um, uh, the, the, the Google font. Okay, uh, Newton 700. Okay, that's been in, inserted there. All right, so um, and they're inserted in the right place. Okay, they're inserted at the at the end of the end of the stack, so that they take superiority uh, or preference over um, the uh, the files that were preceding them. All right, which is which is where you want them. If we'd have put a JavaScript file in, um, it would have been tacked on the end. It would have been the last one here as well okay um, so again it would it would be in the right order um, which is important all right so um, this is uh, a fantastic uh, lightweight plugin that will allow you to add um, the 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 links and the meta into your head um, or between the head tags so that you do not mess around with the the core files of Joomla or your template all right and now um the um you know you can go ahead and you can update your template update joomla and uh you won't lose this uh this styling that we've got here okay um another positive thing is that if you if if you kind of um, you know you do something like that using this method if you if you change the css and and it looks terrible you know you look at it oh my god but you know maybe maybe you were um you know maybe you're doing some drunk drunk programming late on a Saturday night okay and um, you wake up on Sunday and you look at your website and you think oh my god what did I do okay well all you gotta do is disable the plugin okay <laughs> that's all you've got to do save the um, you know obviously save it again and then um, when you, uh, uh, you know, when that's done you can, if you refresh the page hopefully come on localhost all right, I'm sure my videos would be a lot quicker <clears throat> if we weren't waiting for localhost all the time. Okay, uh, maybe I should put this up live somewhere and um, it'll be a lot quicker. There, there we go. All right, so just refresh the page, and because we've disabled that plugin, um, we go back to the way it was before all your changes have gone. All right, so there we are. Anyway, um, easy script 250 um, from blackdale.com. Uh, thank you very much, Blackdale. It's a lovely plugin. Uh, we like it. Um, you guys uh, should like it. Uh, we highly recommend it. Um, and that's it. That's my uh, uh, my little video for today. So thanks very much. Uh, we'll catch up with the next one, which is um, you know how to add that CSS file. All right. So until then, take care, everybody.